Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is a chronic disease that causes pain and stiffness in your joints. So what causes RA? RA is an autoimmune disorder, meaning it occurs when your immune system mistakes your own body cells and tissue for something that doesn't belong, such as an infection, causing your body to mistakenly attack itself in response. Other autoimmune disorders include lupus, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, or MS. Normally, upon exposure to germs, your immune system responds by sending white blood cells in its attempt to fight infection from these viruses or bacteria. This mass of rescue white blood cells usually works just fine, but often will also cause fever and inflammation. If you are otherwise healthy, then your body has controls on its immune response process so that fever and inflammation do not get out of hand. Yet with RA, your immune system malfunctions and mistakes your synovial membranes, which are the lining of your joints, for an outside protein that needs to be fought off. The exact causes for why your immune system may attack the lining of your joints is unknown. Most doctors believe your genetics or heredity play a role where they put you at a greater risk of developing the condition. At some point, an infection triggers the malfunction that eventually leads to the immune system attacking the joints. There's not one specific virus or bacterium that causes RA, but researchers have identified several that can start an immune response that may develop into RA. Other factors that may put you at risk for RA include age and sex. Of the 1.3 million Americans diagnosed with RA, approximately 75% are women. Men and women alike can acquire RA at any age, with onset occurring most often between the ages of 40 and 60 years. And although doctors have not yet determined the specific causes and cures for RA, what we do know about this disease and how it works has made possible the development of targeted RA treatments that work directly on the immune system to help get the disease under control, especially when it is diagnosed and treated in its early stages.